So this is our uh, laboratory exercise L60 uh, using autopsy hash lookup module. And we're going to continue forensic dog napping scenario in this uh, exercise. So our first uh, step will be to start uh, analyzing the laptop, the image of the hard drive on the laptop. Um, and uh, the big clue is that um, there is a picture that was sent uh, with the ransom email, which is the actual ransom note itself. So if you look at the, uh, um, uh, the actual handout uh, for this uh, dog napping scenario, this is the exact copy of that uh, ransom note. So um, what I'm about to do in my first step is that uh, you probably recognize my directory structure. And I chose this to be my path to uh, our course uh, uh, cases. And I already have created a topsy cases subfolder. And there's, of course, a Renzik uh, subfolder, uh, which uh, contains the entire case uh, related to the uh, dog napping scenario. Um, and so what I would like to do at this stage is um, that I'm going to create um, a new folder uh, inside this uh, Renzik uh, configuration. Just create a new folder. Rename it as uh, Digital Evidence and uh, use this location, which happens to be just this path on my system right here. Um, just copy it and uh, save uh, this image as, specify this location, um, and uh, save it as rn.jpg. Right, so this was currently stored here on the web server as rn.jpg. So I'll save it here. Okay, so now I have a co my own local copy of rn.jpg. Uh, and uh, looking back at uh, the assignment right here, uh, we need to compute the MD5 value for uh, this file. Uh, so we can use um, FTK uh, Imager uh, to quickly compute the MD5 of this file. In FTK Imager, of course, I can uh, add uh, uh, this uh, folder as evidence item. Basically, contents of the folder. Click Next and copy and paste the uh, location of my folder right here. Okay, and just uh, finish. So that uh, makes, uh, makes it uh, available as evidence right here. And uh, at this stage, what we can do is uh, can just say um, export file hash list. Okay, so just highlight the file, single uh, file, and export. And uh, of course, I would like to export to the same location where this uh, file is located. So I'm just going to copy this path, uh, add it to uh, the address bar, hit enter and uh, just export it as hash, uh, hash values. Okay, so that uh, will generate the hash values.csv. At this stage, I can just simply exit out of ac access data FTK imager. And then I can uh, open this uh, with the notepad and it should be uh, quite easy to identify MD5, SHA1, and file names. So this, of course, is uh, uh, rn.jpg. So MD5 is the first value uh, in this file that I just created right here, uh, side by side with rn.jpg. So we can copy and paste the value right here. OK, so uh, this is our first step uh, to identify MD5 of rn.jpg, and this is happening even before we open an autopsy case. So I'm going to click uh, Save Changes to preserve uh, this part of the work. So now let's close uh, this and let's um, open the case, which of course will be uh, uh, located in this folder. I already have a copy of it. 
So we're just going to say open recent case and the Renzik is already on my list. I just verify that this is the correct uh, path and click open. So the case uh, is opened and I already have access to my laptop uh, uh, image already added as a data source in our uh, previous laboratory exercise. So now uh, what we're going to do is um, overview our next objectives.